All right, commercial. From answering your queries, <laughs> I came across this comment, kasi <laughs> domestic. Well, first of all, Joe, I don't know if that's your real name. Maarte talaga ako. That's number one. Number two, there are words wherein you don't really have to pronounce every letter. Like, for example, domestic, right? Mm, Naiya. Like, you don't necessarily say Ninoy Aquino International Airport, but you'd rather say Ninoy Aquino International Airport. Uh, comfortable. You don't say that. I mean, it doesn't sound right. You say comfortable. So, ganun. I hope nagpapatawa ka because I find it funny. Anyways, good luck. Well, listen here, Pao Kimberly. Hindi ibig sabihin na kung ganun ang pronunciation ng ibang tao sa word na feeling mo ikaw lang nakakaalam kung tama o hindi, eh automatic na mali na sila agad. Check your privilege, girl. Sa sobrang privilege mo, lumalabas na yung pagiging entitled mo. Try mo lumabas ng bahay nyo Tapos magtanong ka kung mausap ka ng batang kali at tinanong mo sa kanya kung ano ibig sabihin ng burot at banban because that's what you are. Bago kami maniwala sa'yo, ayusin mo muna yung hairstyle mo na kasi kamukha mo yung kaklasikong spoiled brat nung grade 4 na nagmamakaawa sa nanay niya na bumili siya ng LV bag kahit na grade 4 pa lang kami. Tsaka ayusin mo yung units and beats mo, girl. Yung pinapakita mo sa amin ngayon, fasad yan lahat. Ang tsaka. mga dilat-dilat school of acting mo. Siya kayo mga pakit-kit ma. Doesn't land, girl. Anyways, may tuturo akong sa'yong word. You don't say entitled. You say entitled. Because that's what you are. I hope hindi ka nagpapatawa kasi hindi ka talaga nakakatawa. Anyways, good luck. Stay